Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is inequalities. So our subtopic is graph of compound inequalities. So initially we looked at graphs of simple inequalities. We represented simple statements. We interpreted and solved simple inequality equations. And so today we are going to look at how we solve compound inequalities as we did before, but now how do we represent this in a paper, in a graph paper? So a graphical representation of compound inequalities. So we have x is greater than 2 and less than, less than 4. So first of all, we are going to solve one part at a time. So values of x are going to be between these two, and negative 2 is part of it. So we'll start with negative 2. So x is greater than negative 2. Remember, this is happening on the x-axis. So you go where negative 2 is, and since it's less than or equal, it means our line is going to be bolded. So you draw that line. We bold it, use a ruler. So this is going to be the, on negative two. And then X is less than four. So you go where four is, but since it's not an equal sign, it means four is not part of the values of X. So we are going to use a dotted line instead. So you draw a dotted line. And then the values of x are less than 4. So we want all the values of 4 that are less. So anything that is above 4 is unwanted. So you shade this. And then all values of x are greater than negative 2. So we want anything that is less is not wanted. So we are going to shade this red. So you see, when you look at these two lines, the values of x can be anything in between these two lines, including our negative 2. So that's how we represent a compound inequality. This is contrary to how we were doing with the simple one because you only had one uh, condition, but now we have two of them. So you expect to see two lines on your graph. Let's do more examples. So now we have y. So we are going to work this out on the y-axis. So y is greater than negative 4. So we will go to negative 4. But since there is no equal sign to our greater than, so negative 4 is going to be dotted. So let's do that dotted. And then next is y is greater, is less than, sorry, less than 3 and is less than or equal. So this is going to be bold. So draw bold using a ruler. So y is greater than negative 4. So we want all the values of negative 4 that are above, uh, the values of y that are above negative 4. So the ones that are less are unwanted. So we shade the lower part. And then the values of y are less than 3. So we don't want any values that are greater than 3. So we shade this unwanted part. And this forms our compound inequality. Let's do more practice. All right. So now you notice this, this is a compound inequality that is, is not fully solved because we want to end up with a situation where we have x looks like this, but you can see we have half x. So we need to solve it first. So we will separate this into two inequalities. So it's going to be negative 2 is less 
or equals to a half x and then a half x is less than 7. So let's solve these equations and then we present this on the line. So this is going to be negative 2 is less than a half x. We multiply by 2 over 1. We multiply by 2 over 1. Since we didn't multiply with a negative, we don't change the sign. So this becomes negative 4 is less uh, or is less than x. That's the first one. And then the second one is a half x is less than 7. So again, we multiply by 2 over 1 times 2 over 1. And since we have not multiplied with a negative value, x is going to be less than 7 times 2, which is 14. So if we put this together, we are going to have something like this. x is greater or equals to negative 4. And also x is less than 14. So that is going to be what we represent. So we will go to x is greater than negative 4 on the x-axis. And it's bold because of the equal sign. So you use a bold line. And then x is less than 14. So we can do an assumption of this is our 14. So this is going to be dotted. You can increase yours. So x is less. So we do not want any numbers greater than 14. And x is greater than negative 4. So we do not want any values that are less than negative 4. So that shows our inequality. So sometimes you have to do some extra work with compound inequalities, but eventually you get the answer. So let's do this question. So once again, we separate. So we have negative 1 less or equals to 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1 less than 5. So the first equation is negative 1 is greater or equals 3x minus 1. So we add plus 1 both sides. So it becomes uh, uh, negative 1 plus 1 is less or equals to 3x because plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get this is 0 less or equals to 3x, which is the same as if you divide by 3 both sides, it's still 0 less or equals to x. Right. So the second equation is 3x minus 1 is less than 5. So we add plus 1 both sides. So 3x minus 1 plus 1 is less than 5 plus 1. So 3x is less than 6. You divide by 3. Since we are not dividing with a negative number, it's not going to change the sign. So x is less than 2. So if we combine the two, we form x is greater or equal than 0 and x is less than 2. So you go on the x-axis and then you go to where, sorry about that, you go to where x is uh, equals to 0. So 0 here, on the x-axis, and then you, it's a bold. So you draw a line on the x is equals to 0. Bold. And then you go to x is equals to 2. But now it's dotted since there is no equal sign. So this is how you do it. And all the values of x are less than 2. So we do not want any values of 2 that are great, greater than 2. Remember, 2 is not part of it. And values of x are greater than x. So we don't want the ones that are less. So our inequality becomes that. So uh, there are some questions, of course, that I've uploaded uh, in the app, as you saw. So go and check them out and practice and see how you can be able to convert a compound inequality uh, on the graph. And then also we have notes on the same with the instructions that you're required to follow. So see you in the next lesson.